Got any idea how long you've been on this case, Marty? Months. Are you ever watching a movie with a driving scene in it, thinking, that doesn't look very convincing? Well, this film studio wants to change that. We're behind the scenes at Pixelmondo, the visual effects studio behind Star Trek and House of the Dragon. They are experts in virtual production, and they've just deployed the latest tech to make what's on our screens even more realistic. I will try and look out to see, I can, so I can tell which ones are using the technology or not. Um, but generally, yeah, the general public, you, you wouldn't be able to tell. The new studio combines state-of-the-art graphic controls with a robotic platform capable of recreating every bump and even spin from the road. Traditional driving scenes would have been done it's a couple of ways, but essentially it could be green screen would be kind of the previous version. Uh, but the difficulties with green screen is you don't get the light reflection or you get a bounce of green onto your vehicle. Some scenes might also be filmed on location. It's a way that's been less used because you've got insurance. You don't necessarily want to put your world famous actor on the streets. I might have to pay a lot of money to shut down a street. Um, so that's why LED volumes like this are becoming a lot more used than common. Central to this is the platform. What does that allow you to do? Pretty much every part of the motion of this platform is fully customizable and I can make edits on the fly super quickly. So the director can come over to me and say, hey, I just want to add a little jerk here or an extra bump there. And in a few clicks of a button, I can do that. It's so cool. Right now, our limitation for rotation is eight full rotations, but we're waiting on a part that's going to enable unlimited, which is super exciting because there's no other motion platform that can do that. If your car's rotating eight times, you're in trouble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's another really cool feature of this rig is that we can put other vehicles on here too, like helicopters, boats, planes. So those rotations are also super useful for a helicopter spinning out or other unique cases like that. Can I take the car for a spin? Yeah, of course, jump in. Thanks. Three, two, one, action. This is a journey. I promise this isn't how I drive. Okay, I might not be the best at acting, but the movement of the platform allows the professionals to react and give a better performance. I find that especially the suspension control really allows the actors to react to the car instead of other way around. They're not having to fake as much. The platform is just one part of the innovation here. The 3D graphics shown on these huge LED panels give the director even more control. Because it's a game engine, you can control anything, essentially. So you can move the sun position throughout the day, you can have the traffic lights on triggers, um, you can tell it how many cars you want to have in the scene, you can have everything built into a slider. So you can say, hey, I need, I need a lot more pedestrians on the street, so it's a lot more directable, so your content becomes your own. Uh, with the 3D scene, yeah, you can, you can change the speed the car moves at, you can really kind of keep the path directable. One of the biggest secrets to successfully making us think this was filmed outside on the road is reflections. The LED walls around the studio are all able to move. They're actually kind of hovercraft walls. So we've built them in a way that they're on uh, air casters. So what we do is we, we can pump them full of air um, and then they lift up and two people can move 10,000 pounds worth of weight really easily and move them into position. What the uh, wild walls do is they allow you to get reflections from different sides. So if you need to move um, a wing wall, wild wall somewhere, because um, imagine a car windscreen, different angles, you might want to have you shooting from a certain angle. Uh, so that just allows you to kind of get those reflections and make it actually look like you're in the space that you're, you're meant to be. The potential is, it, this is the forefront of the technology. I mean, I had been so busy shooting television shows and features. And when I got invited to step into this virtual production world, I took it wholeheartedly. You can imagine some cinematographers 
being a little bit resistant to coming to an environment like this and maybe wanting to film in more natural settings. Is that true or is the industry changing? It's the education of it. It's slowly letting them get their hands on it and experiment with it because a lot of shows may not be able to afford it or they just don't feel they have the time to come out and do it. For now, the biggest budget movies will combine filming outdoors and in the studio to create the most realistic settings. When it first came out, people were trying to shoehorn everything into, let's do it all in the LED volume, whereas you really just want to do the scenes that make sense. And with tech constantly enhancing the magic of the movies, it's likely scenes films like this will only continue to get more believable. There's no escape, AJ Clara. Give me the device, and we can end this now. Aw, but we just got started. Ah!